Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say about the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. Uh, androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot. Spill it. How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right. We've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah. For a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. <laughs> That's right. The Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? Yep. They were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called instant transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, instant transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? That's not much of a downside, if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> all right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. So, when and where should we meet? The androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at 9. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. We're not gonna babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Kakarot, you may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Don't forget that the number one Saiyan here will always be me. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll see each other in three years. Uh, where we said, hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right, we better get going. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> sure, sounds good to me. Yay! <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again! All right, see you guys soon, or in three years. Right. We're making a stop home first, right, Dad? Mom's been waiting for you. Oh, yeah, right. Guess I better get some FaceTime in with Chi-Chi, huh? Piccolo, is it okay with you if we do that? Fine, but don't waste too much of our time. So, Yamcha... Oh, no thanks, I'll pass. I hate to admit it, but I don't think I can keep up with you guys anymore. This can't be good. Hey, I know. Why don't we just off that Dr. Jero now so he doesn't even make the androids? Uh, sorry, Bulma. But to be completely honest right now, I really wouldn't mind fighting them. Besides, he hasn't even created them yet, so it's not like we can really beat him up. He hasn't done anything. Ugh, you're unbelievable. <gasps> Boy, am I glad to see you alive and kicking, Goku. Thanks, Krillin. And I'm really glad you're back, too. Well, the way I look at it, I wouldn't be back if it weren't for you, buddy. I'm going to do my best to help Tien with his training. I'm looking forward to it. I'm eager to join the fight and put my training to the test against these androids. <laughs> oh, yeah. Training with Piccolo. I can't wait. I won't go easy on you. Mr. Piccolo's pretty strict, you know. Ha! I'm counting on that. 
I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. So that's all, huh? It's easy to find Bulma's place. Just look for the biggest house.
Hey! Hmm. Hey there! Yo! Hey! Huh? No! Uh -huh. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> what are you? Gotcha! Thank you! Uh -huh. Time to get collecting! What's this? Found some tasty looking food. I cause some trouble later. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. Myself getting lost in a city this huge.
might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I'm gonna take you down! <laughs> <laughs> Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Here I go! Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I'll make quick work of you. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's do this! You could never beat me.
Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this. I'll make quick work of you. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Here I go! This thing's giving off a lot of energy. Look, that's a cave, isn't it? I wonder if that cave's big enough for me to train in. Whoa! This stone's extra hard! Yeah. 
It might cause some trouble, lady. Best to deal with this now. I'll make quick work of you. Feeling good. All right.
<laughs> we got a keeper. Huh? What's this? Why are these people naked? Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Looks like it's all over. What's this? Genius runs in our family, doesn't it? Well, I don't know about that, but I do know your mother's the best of us all. <laughs> we got a keeper. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I'm pumped up and ready to go.
yourself, you could never beat me. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I'll make quick work of you. All right, let's do this. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. There's nothing better than jumping into a lake to cool off on a hot day. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. You could never beat me.
That stone seems pretty sturdy. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Whoa, check out that stone. I'll make quick work of you. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. <laughs> Don't kid yourself, you could never beat me. That was a good workout. This looks like a great apple. Whoa! This one seems pretty tough. Might cause some trouble later. Here I go! You could never beat me. Whoa! This one seems pretty tough. Might cause some trouble. I'll make quick work of you. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Might cause I'll make quick work of you. Train some more. Just 
looking at this mango is making my mouth water. I shall grant one wish, anything that is within my power. State your wish. There it is! You know, Mom's been pretty mad at you for being away for so long. Really? I'm not looking forward to getting yelled at again. <laughs> me you look like you've been doing pretty good you had me so worried where have you been this past year and what's with those clothes and go on what are you doing in that outfit uh, yeah about that you know it's kind of a long story <laughs> What? You have to train Go on because you're gonna fight some robots in three years? Yeah, that's okay, right? No, that's not okay! Are you insane? Do you think I'm just gonna let you waltz in here and disrupt Go on's studies? No, uh, it's. I'm not trying to do that. It's just, well, the Earth might be in big trouble about three years from now. No, I don't care what you say. I'm not letting Go on train with you. Hang on, wait. You're saying the fate of the Earth isn't as important as Gohan's studies are? Of course Gohan's studies are more important. Nothing's more important than that. What? You don't believe that, right? Come on. Let Gohan train with me. Ugh, fine. This is the absolute last time, you hear me? T-T... But in three years, he's done with all this fighting. You got that? 
Thanks, Chi Chi. And sorry. So even Super Saiyans have their weaknesses. All right. Since that's settled, let's go train. Goku! Goku! Can you hear me? Hey, I know that voice. It's Kami. Yep, reading you loud and clear. How's it going? I'm glad to see you've made it back to Earth. I've been waiting for you. My apologies. But would you please come to my lookout? I must speak with you. Oh, really? Does it have to be now? I was getting... What I have to say concerns everyone. Everyone? Uh-oh. Got it. Don't worry. I'll be right there, Kami. Good. I'll be waiting. You guys, I'm sorry. But there's been a change in plans. Looks like I gotta head to Kami's place. What do you think? Wanna come with me? Oh, Kami, huh? I have absolutely no desire to speak with him. Gotcha. Tell you what, why don't you guys go on ahead and train without me? R really? So, uh... Don't need to. I can find you guys just fine. I'll just search for your energy. Are you sure? Go on, get going. Be sure to do your best with Piccolo until I get back, though, all right? Leave the kid to me. I'll whip him into shape. What? Uh... I wonder what's so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. I wonder what's so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. Yeah. All right, there it is. I think there was something off about Kami. <laughs> I can tell this thing's got lots of energy. This thing's giving off a lot of energy. Hmm. Kami, Mr. Popo! Long time no see! I've been waiting for you, Goku. Oh? What's up? Well, I have something to tell you about the Dragon Balls. Shenron under the weather or something? No, no. You see, uh, my life is nearing its end. Call it... An old man's intuition. What? Ah, no need to dwell on the matter. It's simply a feeling. Uh, if you say so. But not all hunches come true, you know. Indeed. But should you have any wishes, let us err on the side of caution and act now. <sighs> Gotta think this through. Got it, Kami! Uh-oh. I'd better head on back now. Piccolo and the others. They're over there. Goku! Yajirobe, what's up? Let me guess, you need help with something? <laughs> yeah, you guessed right. Yeah? What is it? Uh, Shinzu beans. Old Corrin's growing a new batch of them. They're still gonna need some fertilizer, though. 
So I thought that you might be up to the task of getting some. Me? Why don't you do it? Oh, uh, because, uh, because I'm busy. Doesn't look to me like you're doing anything. You, shut it! You and Krillin are probably gonna use most of the Sinzu beans anyway. So why not help a little? Do your part! Jeez! Hmm, I guess you have a point. Man, this guy... Uh, that's more like it! I'll tell you what you need to do. Alright then, take a look. That's the fertilizer I need. It's in the sacred land of Corin. Made it easy for you. I marked where to find it on your map. See here? You'll find it all the way down at the bottom of this tower. Alright, that should be enough info. You got it? Yep, see you later. <laughs> well, Corrin does help me out a bunch with his sensu beans, so I should help him out once in a while. This is divine water, isn't it? Well, it's called that, but it's just normal water. I was supposed to take this from Corrin as part of my training. Man, that was tough. I wonder what Yajirobe does up here all day. Train? Is he taking a cat nap? But he's definitely good with a sword. I remember when I first met him, he cut that monster clean in two. I bet he'd make a really strong fighter if he actually trained. I think Upa and his friends live around here, but he's definitely good with a sword. I remember when I first met him. I bet he'd make a really strong... <laughs> What's this? All right! This apple looks extra juicy. <laughs> <laughs> we got a keeper. <laughs> Found some tasty looking food. Found some tasty looking food. Found some tasty looking food. Hey. <laughs> Found some. <laughs> we got a keeper. This apple looks extra juicy. Hmm? Want a tango? I'll take you on. This looks like a great apple. Whew! 
Huh. I see why Yajirobe was reluctant to do this himself. Well, I can't complain. It's good exercise anyway. Check and check. I got what you wanted! Awesome, I knew- Just wait right there! Hey, Corin, look! I got the stuff for you! You nincompoop! You can't pull one over on me! Goku's the one who got it! You're slower than a freaking sloth! Hey, where, weren't you sleeping? I was meditating, you idiot. All right, I've had it up to here with you. Let me teach you a thing or two. Your punishment will be very creative. Oh, come on, man. I appreciate the hard work, Goku. I'll split these sensu beans with you once they're ready. Thanks a million, Corrin. That took longer than I thought it would. I'd better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. You can learn a lot from Goku and his friends. Hey, don't... Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Yeah! All right, let's do this. Yeah! 
feeling good. I feel kind of bad. The whole time I've been gone, Piccolo's been looking after Gohan. He's even been training him. But it sounds like he really toughened him up. All right. Gohan's taking a real liking to Piccolo. Those two actually make a pretty great team. <laughs> I'm feeling good. Yeah, yeah. Training is gonna be great. Can't wait to join them for sessions. All right. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. All right, time to train. Huh, Dad! Sorry about that. Now, what do you say we start out with training? All right, for starters, I want the both of you to come at me. Both of us? Are you seriously that? Gohan, I want to see you at your full power. Try and catch him off guard and overwhelm him. Okay. Let's see what you two can do. Don't hold back. Not bad. Now that's more like it. Come on, go. Keep at it. I will, Mr. Piccolo. Strong too. Guess you didn't delay your return to you just to make an entrance. Hey, you guys are pretty good. I'm impressed. I knew you were strong. Wow. Based on how you guys fight now, I can tell it's gonna happen. I don't know about that. Not done yet. We're looking forward to whenever that is. enough training for today. <laughs> Fine by me. We need to work hard. Man, you've gotten stronger, Gohan. <laughs> you think so?
Of course he has. Unlike other kids, he's already gone up against the likes of Vegeta and Frieza. Good point. Being here reminds me of when you first started training me, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs> you mean when you were a pathetic ball of tears? What? No, not that. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm starting to get it. So, this is where you guys trained when I was dead, huh? Yeah. Mr. Piccolo was super tough on me. I had no choice in the matter. He was useless to us back then, and I did what I had to do to fix him. Sorry to put you through that, Piccolo. Gohan's a lot stronger now, and it's all thanks to you. And who knows? If he keeps it up, there's no telling how strong he'll get. Might even get stronger than us. Stronger than you two? No way. He'd better. We're gonna be in real trouble if he doesn't. No kidding. And that's why I'm here to help you guys out. Let's show him how strong you can get in three years, Gohan. Y yeah. Speaking of everyone, I wonder what kind of training they're going through. Vegeta's most likely sticking to himself and off somewhere doing his own thing. Oh, don't worry about him. I'm sure Vegeta will be fine. He trained in some sort of room where he had control over gravity. I need to access that room. That annoying woman's old man is the only one who could construct something like that. Where is he? Where is that damn geezer at? <laughs> <laughs> 